Hey everybody, this is Brandon from betteratEverything.info and this is part 8 of my AutoCAD basic series. In this video we're going to be covering mText and how to create it. Uh, let's get started. As you can see on our basic drawing from last video, I've added some text here. It says this text is just a test. I'm going to show you how to make similar text on its own layer and customize it as you'd like. So to start, we're going to create a new layer. And if you remember that from the previous videos, you're going to open up the Layer Manager menu from right up here. Once this window pops up, you're going to create, let's drag it over here so it's easy to see. There. We're going to create a new layer. That's this one here. And we're going to call it Text. Now we're going to choose a color for that layer. Uh, let's go with light orange. And we're going to make it current by clicking the check mark. Now you can close your uh, layer manager, which is right here. And to start the text command, we're going to type in MT and enter. That stands for mText. Now it's asking you to choose the first corner of your text box. So we're going to click here. Now it's asking for the second corner. So we're going to go like this. We're just going to click over here. You can always change that later and it only really matters uh, if you're trying to keep the text in a certain area and have it wrap automatically inside of a box. I'll show you how to do that next. So now we can start texting or uh, typing our text. Sorry. This text As you can see, it automatically wrapped at the edge of my text box that I selected, and it will just con keep continuing down as much as you'd like to type. Um, if you select your text, you can change your uh, formatting up here. You can choose different text styles or fonts. There's a different font. You can change its layer. You can bold it, add italics, underline, overline. You can add all kinds of stuff make everything uppercase or make everything lowercase. For our example, we're just going to add italics and we're going to keep the text size at 2.5 units, which is what it's set at right now. If you'd like to make it bigger, you can change that here. Let's make it 20. Hit enter. Now you've got really big text. Go back up here. 0 0.2. And as you can see in there, you've got really tiny text. We're going to leave it at 2.5 for this drawing. Okay, to end your text, you can go over to the right here and click Close Text Editor, or you can just click outside of your box. And there you have it. You've got a new text unit that you can click on and move wherever you'd like. You can also, if you're trying to fit it into a space, shrink the column width by using the arrow at the end here, or widen it by going out. So by making it wider, the text doesn't wrap now. Now I'm going to show you how to create text that has a background mask. So again we're going to type in MT to bring up mText. And this time we're going to do the mText over top of uh, some line work. So we're going to put it right there. So we're going to type, hit enter, enter, type hit enter. So say you've got specifications all in there. Uh, we're going to pick a font, so select everything. I'm going to go up here and click on Cambria. And we're also going to make it bold. Now click outside. There your text is finished. Now say you want everything behind this text to be blocked out so that you can see the text better and you don't have lines running through it. We're going to double click on the text, or you could do this before you clicked out. This is just an example. You're going to select uh, background mask up top here in formatting and you're going to click use background mask and then now you can select a border offset. I'm just going to use one for the example here and then click use drawing background color and this is going to fill the everything behind this text with the background color so that you cannot see the uh, 
line work. You'll see when I hit OK here. Now if you click O, you'll see that the background has been filled in and this line here is no longer visible through your text. Same as up here with your polyline. It disappears where it would have normally gone over top or behind your text. It makes text a lot easier to see, especially when you've got a complicated drawing. So there you go. There are the basics of mText. Uh, be sure to leave a comment below if you've got any questions, and subscribe. As always, check out betteratEverything.info. Thanks.